Another episode of Random Thoughts with Shibby2142, this time on Counter-Strike Source. Enjoy. What is happening, all you sexy men? Gonna be playing some Counter-Strike Source gun game for you. This is on the casual, mature server. A few guys recognize me, so that was pretty cool. I uh, enjoy randomly getting seen like, oh my god, Shibby, is that really good? I'm like, yeah. So uh, that was cool. And, to be honest, I have a lot of fails, but I also have a couple good streaks. So, once again, obviously I am a Counter-Strike pro because I just played this game 24-7, which, uh, being sarcastic, I don't. And I really don't understand a lot of the recoils and spreads on a lot of the guns. So, some of these I'm like shooting a guy that I think is in the face, and the bullets are either not registering, or my recoil is crazy, or whatever so that might be a battlefield thing for me I really don't understand so the premise of this is it's like a deathmatch so the spawns are just totally random which for a while I'm like oh this is kinda of fun but then it really started to piss me off because this is gonna be two games so two different maps and it's, it's just really random and <laughs> another thing I didn't understand was however the gun game was set up Usually, I mean, from the ones I've played, the classic gun game is when you kill a guy with your gun, you get upgraded or downgraded or however the server has it set up to the next weapon. So I was trying to figure out, like, is it supposed to be like headshots and then headshots only will count as kills towards upgrading to the next gun or downgrading once again, whatever the server picks. I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. I still don't know. I think it might be two or three kills per weapon or whatever, but sometimes... I would just get changed to the next gun anyway. So I still have no idea what the hell is going on. But it was pretty fun. So, <laughs> I also get knifed quite a bit. And that's just frustrating because that uh, D-levels you, that sets you back one. So say, for example, you start with a Glock and you kill a guy and you get upgraded to let's say the AK. And then someone knifes you while you have that AK out or whatever other weapon, you'll get downgraded back to the weapon behind that. So in my example, the Glock. And let's see your auto sniper. Pretty uh, cheesy weapon, but it does work. One reason I'm playing Counter-Strike for you is it was requested. And also, if you guys have not heard, Counter-Strike Global Offensive is gonna be the new Counter-Strike released, supposedly in 2012, so maybe in the springtime. And from what I've been told and have seen, it's going to be about $15. It's going to be available on PC, Xbox, and PS3, so consoles as well. Hopefully it's developed with the PC in mind. That means starting as a PC game and then gets ported to console and not the other way around. I've talked about this in a few other videos, how that doesn't make a PC game very good. From one screenshot I saw, one of the playable characters will be Lewis. From Left 4 Dead, or at least it's a Lewis look-alike. So the black guy with the red tie and the white kind of business casual uh, collared shirt that he wears. So that's kind of cool. So maybe they'll incorporate some characters from other games that will fit. So, so an example of that would be the heavy from Team Fortress 2 that would just would not fit in the game. But once again, whatever Valve decides, they've kind of went off the deep end on uh, TF2 anyways with all the new weapons and updates and promos, so I just really don't think they care anymore. And uh, it's kind of frustrating, but you know, whatever, it's their game, they're making money, so hopefully they're happy. And just, once again, I really, really hope that Counter-Strike Global Offensive is developed with a PC in mind, kind of like how Battlefield 3 is being developed on the PC, having the PC having special features, such as 64 players and yeah, just different stuff like that that's not available, higher graphics. From what I've uh, been told, the PC will have a maximum setting or like a custom tab, while Xbox and PS3 are just going to be set on high. And I doubt that they'll play at 60 FPS. I'm pretty sure 30 FPS is confirmed. So we'll see uh, how the, you know, the real retail versions differ. But once again, if you have the option and you have a capable PC, definitely want to go with PC with a lot of games. Knifing this guy, skipping a level, getting the P228, I believe this thing's called. 
or is that the FS50 or something? I don't know. It's been a while since I played Counter-Strike and really I was a fanatic about it. I used to play Counter-Strike 1.5, obviously that's prior to 1.6 and Condition Zero and Source. That was definitely the game I played a lot from middle school transitioning into high school. In high school we ended up playing a lot of uh, Halo, Halo 2 on the original Xbox. So one of the most fun things, if you ever have the chance, is at a buddy's house, old school landing where you'd run an internet, ethernet cable, basically say up the stairs so there'd be a TV upstairs and a TV in the basement and you'd have teams of four so everyone's crowded around the TV playing capture the flag and all that good stuff and basically just yelling back and forth when you'd cap and the house would be just rumbling and that was probably some of the most fun I've ever played with a video game is being basically multiplayer what is you know what we have now where we can connect and play but with all your buddies in the same place so if you have that option if you have the game go check it out because it is a blast and yeah Halo Halo 2 just great games had a lot of fun there so not hating on the console it, it had its uh, time but PC shall reign for uh, those who can afford it or have jobs stuff like that so if you're 12 or 13 and you're saying but Shibe how do I get a good PC you gotta start saving or at least start acquiring parts say if your parents want to buy you something for Christmas or your birthday I mean if you celebrate Christmas I don't know stuff like that I mean, like you know, maybe high school or middle school graduation. I don't know. Just start acquiring parts and eventually put it together and you'll have a, a blast. So this was this map, I'm not really sure what it's called, it's like FY Death Box Chocolate Sauce 720p 1600 MSP. So yeah, frustrating getting killed from behind. I did have my earbuds in, which I'm looking for new earbuds. I have a nice pair of headphones, but I don't, just don't feel like wearing them right now. So I don't know. I, I had a, a pair of Sony ones that were like 20 or $30, but when I was working out one day, I had so much sweat that basically one of the ears fried because the moisture went in there. And that was an enemy, and it just didn't click in my brain. I should have shot him. For some reason, I thought he was a friendly, and then I ended up spawning close and just taking him out. Uh, yeah, using the scout. This scout is not a one-shot kill unless it's a headshot. You might be thinking of the uh, AWP. Some people call it the op. I don't call it the op. It'll forever be the AWP to me. Not the Arctic Warfare Magnum, which, yeah, does not mean AWP, but whatever. That is what it is. Get my headshot on, and I believe I shoot this guy through the wall, yeah. So, uh... Little penetration headshot there. That guy enjoyed getting penetrated. And yeah, just, I mean, random spawning. Just that guy had no chance. He had, you know, an assault rifle, but no, I just. Matrix dodged this, Glock to the side of the face. There's no way he has any chance to uh, retaliate at all. Especially with spawn protection, which is just ridiculous. I guess it's fine, but I don't know. I just. I was getting really frustrated with the amount of random crap that was going on, but that's gun game, and uh, I do enjoy gun game more than actually playing the regular game where you have to wait when someone uh, kills you, and uh, that's just frustrating because especially with, say, TF2 or Battlefield or other games I play, essentially there's no respawn time that's ever extended more than a minute or two. So, you know, Left 4 Dead, I think it's a 20 to 30 second... Uh, respawn time for the infected, even that's long and kind of like, oh man, this is taking forever. I also mentioned this in a recent video that right now, yes, I am posting a lot of games with the Source Engine, that being Team Fortress, this game, Left 4 Dead, stuff like that. I'm just making sure you guys have variety before, let's say, Battlefield 3 comes out, because when that game comes out, I will be playing that all the time. It'd be stupid of me not to, it'd be a waste of time for me to play TF2 unless you guys are just demanding it every video, but yeah, we'll see. Because right now, just enjoy the variety because come October, or even the beta, if we can post beta footage, that'll change that too, so don't worry about that, little going on spree there, they're getting shot up, but yeah. 
So yeah, just I mean don't don't knock it. Don't be like, oh shivs, we need we need this, we need that. Just enjoy it right now. And we'll see uh where the channel goes from here. In other news, the channel, my channel, has been growing quite a bit, so that's just been awesome and a blessing because if it does grow big enough, it'll actually become a job. Maybe not a career, but it legitimately could fund me with rent or food, cat food, all that stuff. So that's kind of awesome. So sorry about the advertisements every now and then, but really helps me out when uh, you know I can make some revenue off posting quality videos, but also quantity. So that's something I'm incorporating both, doing both and videos. Quality and quantity can be in the same thing. Trying to get the turnaround noob tube on that terrorist does not work. Once again, still learning or relearning the recoils and the spreads, especially in 1.6. I had the SIG Commando, the 552. That was my favorite gun of all time. I think that was my desktop and my spray when I was uh, younger just because it's so cool and I just love being able to zoom down the sights, or not down the sights, but in the scope. And yeah, used to have it down, but now I'm just a noob, just kind of spraying and praying most of the time, but that works for me. Once again, variety of games, can't invest too much time into learning, uh, sweating the small stuff, don't sweat the small stuff, have fun with what you do. And that is one message on YouTube. It's getting to the point where I almost can't read messages on YouTube anymore because half of them are spam or just dumb questions. So honestly, if you want to get at me, Twitter, Facebook, way easier for me to uh, respond to you than opening up my YouTube and someone says, But Shippe, what is your gamer tag? Hmm. Well, considering I'm not playing on the Xbox, that is a... Uh, yeah, so if I just see that tweet, I can just ignore it, but I don't know. A lot, of, a lot of stuff. We'll see what happens. A lot of random spawn. Guys are talking in chat. Shibs, is that you? Yeah, it's me. I'm doing my thing, just randomly join up and sucking at life. I was going to knife that guy, but nope. He comes back to life and just shoots me in the face. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. And one thing I do kind of enjoy is all the variety in these gun games. We've done it where the spawns were always the same for uh, not quite a death match or death mode or whatever they call it. This is just absolute madness where teams are randomly mixed. Dudes are spawning next to other dudes. People are just popping each other in the face. So it does make for pretty fast action, but it is very frustrating. And one thing I was noticing that I usually don't notice was I can't knife that guy, <laughs> the jump knife, and he's dead. But having my uh, earbuds in, I was able to hear spawns behind walls and all that good stuff, so that was really helping me out. But uh, people shooting me in the face instantly with whatever gun they always have, that is uh, not helping me out. More real life stuff is that I will be moving back to Green Bay, Wisconsin, which is about four hours drive from Minneapolis, Minnesota, so that's where my home home is. My uh, lease here in the cities is about up in a few days, so at the end of August, if you're watching this in the future, I'll already be back home, so I will be able to bring you much more footage of my cats, all that fun stuff, to do a little more uh, variety of vlogs, I guess, but we'll see. So if I don't post like one or five or a million videos per day, it's probably because I'm in the process of moving which shouldn't it be that bad. I just have uh, my PC to box up and speakers and the monitor, table, computer chair, microwave, stuff like that that I still need to take home. So random spawns, commando to the side of the face. Not helping me out. I also couldn't figure out how someone won this game. I guess you have to end it with a nade or knife kill. And I was just getting so many different weapons. I couldn't figure out really uh, what the random mix was. So I'd go from like, yeah, see the AUG, to a pistol, to the AWP, I just, I just don't know. So I'll figure it out, and uh, I'm sure you guys have commented telling me what I have done wrong, but, you know, it happens. And I guess, uh, I've seen that it's basically 48 kills is winning, and then I think the time also runs out as well. But I did decent, I think each of these games I ended positive, which I'm happy about, because typically anyone that plays Counter-Strike is still really good. 
because from what I have found, a lot of the noobs or players that aren't very good or don't really care to get better, they've went to Call of Duty with their friends. So really, uh, typically good people, that's kind of like the same thing for Battlefield 2 that came out in 2005, that all the noobs have moved on and all the true players and veterans have stayed. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe for more. I appreciate your viewership. See you next time. Twitter, Facebook, and Steam links in the video description.